Hello teammates from CID Headquarters. I, along with the Command Sergeant Major and the Command Chief Warrant Officer, wanted to take a few minutes to address the entire command and wish you all the very best holiday season while we reflect on the past year and look to a very bright and promising future for CID. This organization is incredible and it's because of our people and all of you who collectively accomplish amazing things around the world on a daily basis. This is a tough business we're in, and you all rise to the occasion with great success. Those of you who have chosen the profession of special agent, you have taken an oath to conduct felony level investigations. No one else in the Army can do this. Not the tanker, not the infantryman, only you, and that makes you special. I am in awe of what you accomplish for those who need you the most on their worst day, sometimes addressing their worst fears. Remember that. You've all read the Fort Hood Independent Review by now, and so I'd like to briefly touch on that. Let me be very clear. The recent report does not criticize the hard work and dedication our agents and our support personnel consistently exhibit. But it does identify shortcomings in resourcing, personnel, and in some cases, the way we do business. We can do better, and we will. And so you know, we're making positive changes across the command, and we're listening to the people in the field who do the heavy lifting day in and day out for this command. And when this is all said and done, this will be a victory for CID as we move into the future. So I encourage all of you to embrace that attitude as we move out into 2021, doing what has to be done. You know, I wholeheartedly agree with you, ma'am. 2021 does promise some very positive changes within our organization, and we are looking forward to resetting and continuing to do what has to be done. Your hard work, the hard work of our agents across this great command does not go unnoticed by those of us here in the headquarters, nor the senior leadership within our Army. The incredible work accomplished every single day is clearly recognized, especially by the people that we serve. Those who can't speak for themselves, those victims and those families who look to us to help them through what most often is the worst time in their lives. You know, we've been through some tough times before, and we will enter 2021 better than we are today. We have incredible talent across our command, and we will continue to do what has to be done. Ma'am, I'd just like to take a quick moment to thank all the families, the moms, the dads, the grandparents, the spouses, and our kids for their untiring support of our soldiers. We could not do what we do on a daily basis without the support of them. So thank you, families. The Chief of Staff of the Army has stated that the people are our number one priority. We need to remember to please treat everyone with dignity and respect. Or as my mom taught me growing up, treat others how you would want to be treated. We want to thank everyone for their hard work this past year, and we look forward to an amazing 2021. Thank you for all that you have done. We are extremely proud of you. Lastly, during this holiday season, please remember the three W's. Wash your hands. Watch your distance and wear your mask. Do what has to be done. And so from the command trio, Happy, Happy Holidays! We, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Go Steelers! <laughs>